is data interpretation your area of toughness or whether you think you can crack or you can study all other nine topics but still data interpretation remain a very tough topic for you then this video will definitely help you for cracking your data interpretation from UGC and TNN paper one. Hello friends, once again welcome to another video from Diksha Classroom. In this video, we are going to discuss how to crack or how to be an expert in data interpretation question by three points. To attend and make data interpretation questions correct is very important in our UGC and TNN exam because five questions come from data interpretation which is around 10 marks. 10 marks will be 3.33 percentage of your NTN exam result. So the first point is knowing the different type of questions that are being asked in exam. I hope you will be knowing that data interpretation is a very vast area. It's being asked in different competitive examinations. So there are different types of data interpretation questions like average percentage based questions, bar diagram based questions, pi diagram based questions and different patterns are usually found regarding data interpretation question in different competitive examinations. But when it comes to our NTN at exam, there are only a fixed number of questions that are being usually asked in data interpretation. So make sure you study those questions or you study those type of questions very well. And also make sure you are not studying many other type of data interpretation questions which are not relevant or which are irrelevant in our NTN at exam. So there are almost of eight to 10 types of questions that are being usually asked in data interpretation question like questions based on percentage, question based on average, question based on growth rate, question based on a comparison of different values, questions based on future growth, past growth, etc. We will be discussing all those type of data interpretation questions in different video. So as to make sure you receive those videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel Diksha Classroom. There are some specific type of questions that are being usually asked. For example, percentage type, percentage and average accounts for more than 70 percentage of the questions from our data interpretation. So if you are not thorough with the concept of percentage, it will be very difficult for you to answer data interpretation question. So this is the first point moving to the second point. Second point regarding mastering data interpretation questions is doing maximum number of previous question papers. If possible, do maximum number of data interpretation questions. Comparing all the 10 shifts of 2019 December exam, I can say you that almost all the data interpretation questions were of the same pattern or of repeated pattern from that of previous exams. Because within data interpretation question, the important aspect is that there is not a there is not a large number of possibilities of questions you can make uh, similar to that of number series of letter series. There are only a limited number of possibilities and you can see all those li limited number of possibilities if you go through the previous data interpretation question. If possible, go through a 30 to 40 previous data interpretation questions. If you want to get all previous question papers of NT and paper 1 for free, you can download Diksha free ebook of paper 1. Also, Diksha has released many free ebooks of different paper two subjects also like psychology, commerce, English, economics, social work, etc. In the upcoming days, Diksha will be releasing ebooks on many other top subjects also. So, as to download ebook, e you can visit our website www.dikshaclassroom.com or you can download our exclusive app for NTNN preparation Diksha Classroom. The link for both the website as well as app is given in the YouTube description. So, after going through a large number of or maximum number of previous data interpretation questions, you will be having an idea regarding what are the type of data interpretation question being asked. So the final point regarding mastering data interpretation question is be careful with your tabulation. Because most of the data interpretation question seems to be very simple for most of students, especially when there is a large number of questions regarding percentage. The point where most of the students are making mistakes is while doing different tabulation because there will be large number of tabulation in certain question so as to get answer sometimes you have to do more than 20 tabulation definitely the tabulation will be very easy it will be addition subtraction division multiplication etc but that's the place where most of the students are making mistake and the reason why most of the students are making mistake is because of our confidence 
because during preparation for, because during preparation while you have to do some addition or multiplication you will be thinking that i will be using my mobile phone okay because tabulation take a lot of time and during the examination how i know how to multiply or how, how to add and in the during the examination time i will be doing it on the paper try to do all tabulation using a pen and paper i know you all know multiplication subtraction addition division etc but small mistake can happen to anybody but in an exam it's very important you try to avoid all such small mistakes so as to avoid mistakes related to tabulation make sure you do all data interpretation question related to tabulation by yourself you don't use a calculator then only you can make sure there is very less chance of creating mistakes so that's it if you are able to do different mathematical tabulation without any mistake i'm sure that you can crack all the questions from data interpretation questions so that's all about how to master data interpretation question we have discussed it in three points firstly different type of question that are being usually asked in data interpretation question we'll be discussing those types in detail in the upcoming videos and secondly going through maximum number of previous questions and finally doing the tabulation yourself or be careful while doing the tabulation